Today, we are launching an entirely new series in which we would be discussing history taking and clinical examination in urogynecology case by case. And what could be a better case other than pelvic organ prolapse to start with? This case is not just seen by urogynecologist, but is encountered by each and every gynecologist in their day-to-day -day clinical practice. Needless to say that it forms a very important exam question for postgraduates as well as for undergraduate during their examinations. So let's start. Medical history taking, as you all know, is an art as well as a science. Where we should clearly understand why are we asking the questions we are asking to our patients. And every question asked should take us one step closer to the diagnosis or the plan of management. So before we start, I want to know from you what actually is pelvic organ prolapse. So prolapse is a Latin word which means slipping, slipping of uterus, anterior vaginal wall and posterior vaginal wall, dragging other organs with it. But important thing here to understand is the presence of any such sign during examination should only be treated or correlated if the symptoms are present in the patient. And this correlation of signs and symptoms would usually occur when the prolapse is at the level of hymen or beyond it. While taking a history of a case of prolapse, there are four main headings which we have to work on. The first is introduction where four things are important, age, menopause, parity and occupation. When asking for chief complaints, the focus should be on duration of symptoms and reason why she has come to us with this symptom today. Symptoms we have to ask positive as well as negative we'll be talking in detail about all these things in later part of the presentation. Then we have to ask about obstetric history, medical history and surgical history from the patient. So first important thing is the age and menopausal status. According to these two, women can be divided into three groups from the management point of view. Young means less than 50 years of age who have not yet attained menopause. Then there can be one group who is less than 50 or around 50 but they have attained menopause a few years ago. And there will be a third group where the patient is 50, 55 or beyond and she has naturally attained menopause by then. The clinical presentation and the approach as well as the management for all these three women will differ. High parity has been blamed for the reason of prolapse since ages. Though still it points or it might raise a suspicion of the diagnosis, the present understanding says that it is not an absolute. In our day-to-day -day practice also, we keep on seeing patients who have high parity but have no pelvic organ prolapse or pelvic floor relaxation. However, there might be patients who have delivered either one child and sometimes a patient might present with prolapse without a history of any vaginal birth. Occupation or recent change in occupation might be important because that might be the reason that why the patient has presented with symptoms to us now. The other importance of finding out occupation is in post-operative period where I would not say it just the occupation but also what lifestyle patient is going to live might have implications for her recovery, relapse or outcome. It must be very well explained to the patient that even 
a simple increase in intra-abdominal pressure which can happen by lifting small children all the time is not advisable during the time while the patient is recovering after the surgery. As I told earlier, there are two things which are important to be asked in chief complaints. One is, as always, duration of symptoms. But maybe the more important thing we have to ask is the reason why the patient has reported now. So POP is a chronic condition. It is usually there for years. And one of the most important question we have to ask patient is what brings the patient now to the hospital? Her answer might be that it is a new episode of urinary infection, retention of urine, incarcerated prolapse, hydronephrosis detected during other investigations, and it might be postmenopausal bleeding because of ducubitus ulcer. But the reason can also be acute onset of complaint of mass per vaginum and that should be evaluated more carefully as it can be an indirect evidence of sudden increase in intra-abdominal pressure which might be due to ascites, ovarian malignancy, chest pathology like malignancy or worsening of tuberculosis or COPD or similar conditions. Now history of present illness. This we divide into five sections. Confirmation of prolapse, symptoms related to anterior compartment, posterior compartment and central compartment. And the fifth one is impact on quality of life. So to confirm that the vaginal mass is a case of prolapse, what do you ask? As you know, prolapse would be suspected when the patient gives a history of gradual increase in the size of mass over years when it reduces with rest and increases with exertion is minimal in the morning increases as the day passes by when it gets prominent while coughing or other activities that increase the abdominal pressure anterior compartment symptoms are related to bladder and include recurrent episodes of cystitis because of residual urine Patient may also complain of feeling of incomplete voiding or stress or urge incontinence. On the other hand, posterior compartment symptoms include constipation, feeling of incomplete evacuation. Patient may also give history of finger splinting of vagina to complete the process of defecation. Center compartment if the patient is sexually active, she might complain of coital difficulties. There can be bleeding, which is postmenopausal bleeding because of decubitus ulcer. Decubitus ulcers can also present with foul smelling discharge per vagina. Impact on the quality of life depends upon what kind of lifestyle the patient is dealing with. And maybe this is the most important point to decide the management. In simple words, impact on quality of life can be asked by just asking how much bothered the lady is with her symptoms and what are those specific activities which are impairing her quality of life maximally. I would say obstetric history taking part is overemphasized in our teaching programs. Minute details of deliveries, as taught traditionally, are not so important once patient has already developed a prolapse. These details should more importantly be kept in mind for preventive aspect. High parity is seen in cases of prolapse, but it's not an absolute truth. More and more data is pointing towards the conduct of first vaginal birth as the culprit for levator ana injury leading to prolapse later on. Other than age-old etiologies like pregnancy and childbirth, heavy work involving episodes of sudden increase in intra-abdominal pressure, interestingly, there is one involving modern-day etiology 
which we are now seeing as a cause of pelvic floor disorder and that is the modern day raise gym activity especially lifting weights without learning to support your pelvic floor i wanted to mention it here so that it can be asked in personal history medical history maybe is more important for management neuromuscular problems have to be ruled out as it might be the initiating or aggravating cause it may also interfere with the final outcome few common ones and important among those are parkinson's disease spine injury history of spine injury knee or hip osteoarthritis chest symptoms chronic constipation should also be kept in mind for the obvious reasons diabetes in particular is very important to know if the plan is mesh implantation or pessary insertion even before planning pelvic floor muscle training for the patient the condition of her joints nerves and bones has to be understood adequately so that the results can be achieved in surgical history history of previous pelvic surgeries is important and especially if the patient tells that she has already undergone hysterectomy then the mass can be either wall prolapse or maybe isolated cysto or recto seal i hope this summarizes all what you need to know in history taking